Welcome to the Bottle Poppin' Podcast, where Meg and Heather share their love for oils, friendship, and entrepreneurship. Let's get it poppin'. Hey, everyone. This is Meg. Hi there. This is Heather. And we are the Bottle Poppin' Podcast. So, Heather, what are we popping open today? We're popping open a bottle of a rescuer oil. This one's from the kids line. It smells spearminty to me. It does smell spearminty. And for my kids that don't like mint, they actually do like this one. It's known as the soothing blend. And we've mentioned before, but if you don't know, the kids line is several oils that are made up of very small blends. And so they keep the amount of oils in these blends to four essential oils. And then it's topped off with the fractionated coconut oil to dilute it so that it's not as strong on their growing bodies. Yeah. And also reduces skin sensitivity with the dilution. Yes. So other than the spearmint, can you smell what any of the other oils are in this blend? I really can't. And even when you were talking about the dilution, it's not a strong spearmint smell. No, it's, it's very it's soft. Gentle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The other oils in this are the copaiba, lavender, the spearmint, and then one that I had not heard of called xanthoxylum. And on doTERRA's website, it says that it is known for its calming and soothing benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which so is copaiba and lavender. So we can see where all that works. Yeah. It's kind of like the spearmint lifts up and then the other soothes. So it's the perfect balance. So I like to say that this is the kids version of deep blue. Yes. It kind of does the same things as far as muscles, tension and pain, all of that, but a gentler version because for sure deep blue is like icy hot. You feel it instantly and it's that super cold and then that's super hot. Whereas this is just, I don't know, soothing. (laughs) It's the soothing name blend. Yeah, it does say that it has that cooling experience. I just put some on my wrist just to kind of see if I felt that. I couldn't remember if I did or not. And it doesn't feel cold like a lot of the menthol-y things do. And I feel like it just feels cooling. So I think the cooling versus cold is definitely a good description. And by cooling, I guess it just feels soothing, which is really hard to describe through words versus a feeling. It's almost like putting a cold washcloth on your face or something like that. I don't know if you ever did that. As a kid, when I had headaches, my mom would do that. And it didn't make my whole body cold, but it was just like this comforting coolness. Yes. That's a good description because if you put a drop of peppermint on the back of your neck, like your neck's cold, but you feel that shiver up through your upper body too. So yes, I agree. Yeah. I really like this one, even though it's kids oil, adults can use it as well. (laughs) And I use it often. This is uh, one of my go-tos for when I'm struggling with head tension. It helps a lot, especially, you know, because I've got the aches and pains because there's tightness in my shoulders or the back of my neck. I really like to use it for that reason. Yeah, I think this one works well for that too. And like I said, they don't enjoy the coldness of the deep blue, but they do like this one when they've got growing pains or Mm -hmm. they've done a sport or exercise that's made their muscles sore. They will reach for this one and or tell me to apply it and massage them at the same time because they are a little spoiled by that in our house. (laughs) Yeah, I like that. Could you drive to Dallas and massage this into the back of my neck for me too? (laughs) But again, I've told you that I don't mind doing that because then I reap the benefits of the topical use of the oil too. So anytime somebody wants me to apply an oil to them topically, I'm willing because yay, I get it too. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I really like the way the Advanced Oil Magic book talks about the kids blends because it puts the terms in kind of kid language. So it talks about how this is good for battle wounds. And then it just talks about, you know, for active kids who might get bumps and bruises easily. Uh, it also talks about for self-trust. It's good for that. It's good for stinky feet and mighty nice. muscles. <laughs> you know, it's just the, the definitions are so cute here. Well, anything else on this soil? No, I think this one's pretty straightforward of its uses. The name says it all. And again, not just for kids. Adults definitely get benefits out of it too. So if your skin is sensitive and you have a hard time with a deep blue, then this would be a really easy one to reach for. Yeah, for sure. Really like this oil. All right. Well, thanks so much for listening. We hope you learned something new and we'll have a brand new episode for you next Friday. 
Thanks for tuning in. For more information, you can follow these bottle popping ladies at bottlepoppinpodcast.com. Tune in next week to learn about what bottle we're popping. Until next time, take care. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease.